Oh Lord, I ask that you would give me grace um, and peace as I make this video that you've called me to, different video um, than what I've done before, but I just give you glory and I just pray that you would get this video into every hand that it's meant for and that your work would be done, Lord, that your Holy Spirit and your power would be released into every listener, Lord, and that you would have your way in their lives that you would rescue them where they need rescuing, that you would heal them where they need healing, where you would hold them and comfort them and speak truth um, where lies have been believed in Jesus' name. Um, hi, my name's Shana, um, and I am stepping out here and doing this video, um, which is gonna look foolish to a lot of people. Um, I've seen people do videos like this in the past, and they've kind of looked foolish to me um, and it uh, kind of looked like people were searching for the accolades of man or, um, you know, for self-centered reasons, and I didn't really understand um, until last July. I visited Graceland with my family. I'm new to Tennessee, and we went and visited Graceland and uh, walked around, and um, it was really cool to see, really neat um, to walk through there. My dad was a big fan of Elvis. Um, my dad passed August of 2022, so um, so just about almost five months ago, my dad passed on to eternity, um, and so um, a little bit of a special connection with Elvis is, you know, just thinking of my dad singing his songs and the fond memories of my dad as I've been walking through the grieving process of losing him here on earth. Well, when we left Graceland, we went to, um, well, not Graceland, but we left the house and we went to have lunch at the restaurant there. And I just had this like nagging um, burden on my heart and I actually left feeling very sad. And um, I remember sitting at lunch and I was asking the Lord saying, Lord, like this is a really cool place. This is an iconic place. Like why does my heart feel so heavy? And the Lord said, pray for the, this family, pray for the Presley family. And I was like, at first I was like, oh, that's weird, you know, because, you know, you don't necessarily think at the forefront of your mind of praying for famous people. But as the Lord broke it down, it was like, they are people just like the every average, everyday average Joe, right? Like we all need the grace of God. We all need the love of God. We all need the help of God. And so I said, of course, Lord, I'll pray for them. So um, actually right there at lunch, um, we, my family joined me and we prayed for the Presley family and um, uh, continued to pray for them as the Holy Spirit has brought them to my heart. And I didn't know exactly um, what all the circumstances were. The Lord didn't give me all the details, um, gave me a few ideas. And so I prayed into those areas and just prayed into every area and said, Lord, you help them, you know, whatever they need. Um, I'm an intercessor. And so my calling is to lift people up in prayer and support them in prayer. And so then I started feeling like, wow, that's so cool. Like, you know, there's this iconic, famous family and they need prayer. Um, and so then it felt like an honor to be able to pray for that family. Um, so it was so interesting because that same evening, we got home pretty late that night. Um, I think we're like, I don't know, an hour and a half to, to two hours or something like that away. And I got home and there was a video posted by Pastor Greg Laurie. I'm gonna put the link in the bottom of this video. Um, and it was a video and it was actually about um, Elvis Presley and I thought hmm, that's interesting I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link there so you guys can watch it um, and I watched it and I was like whoa just blown away um, because um, I believe that he also put out a call to prayer for um, p families who have come to stardom and fame because they need prayer um, just like the rest of us do. And so I commented even on that video that night about how the Lord had impressed upon me to be praying for the Presley family. Um, so I've been praying for you guys. Um, and and um, this is not to put attention on myself. If I received the call, it's because the Lord knows I'm a praying woman and he knows I will pray for you guys. But that means that there's probably hundreds or thousands of other intercessors around the world that he's called to pray for you guys that have that got the call recently like I did last July people who have been praying for your family probably for decades you know um, so it's not a new thing and I'm not like any special thing but I'm just um, a voice that the Lord is using to speak out 
I don't know who is speaking into your life in the way of spirituality, um, in the way of God as father, friend, counselor, and Jesus as savior, but I'm going to go step out on a limb and look foolish to my fellow man because the Lord has called me to share and to testify to you guys that, um, that he is good, that he loves you guys, um, that, that people have been lifting you up in prayer. Um, let me come, you know, obviously the most important thing right now is, um, Lisa Marie Presley's passing on to eternity. And I give you my condolences to that. I know that pain, um, of losing a parent. Um, like I said, my dad just passed five months ago. Um, I've been walking through that and it is unimaginable pain. And so I want to say I'm sorry for your loss and I'm so sorry for the pain that you guys are going through right now. And I just want to, I want to tell you guys that God will be there for you. He already is there for you. I don't know what your relationship is with him or to him or what your thoughts are about him, but I know two things. I know that he was already putting supports in place months ago, years ago, before this tragedy with your mom happened or whoever, um, if, if Lisa Marie was your mom or your daughter, your cousin, whoever, whoever's hands this video gets into that the Lord was putting supports in place and, and his spirit was ministering to your mom before she left this earth. I'm sure of that. And his spirit has been ministering to everyone else in your family, um, or at least attempting to. He's calling out and been reaching out to you guys. He's such a loving father, and he knew the exact date that your mom would be going into eternity. And um, although we didn't know that, you guys have been supported and lifted up in prayer. And the Lord right now, there's a couple Bible verses um, that he pointed out to me as I was just getting ready to do this and he's um, pointed out to me Psalm 147 3 it says he heals the brokenhearted binding up their wounds um, and Psalm 56 8 you keep track of all my sorrows you have collected all my tears in your bottle you have recorded each one in your book and this shows us the heart of God the Father God the Son Jesus and God the Holy Spirit that he walks with us and even carries us through our pain. He knows the pains of this world. Um, when Jesus walked this earth, he experienced um, in first person the pains of this world, everything that we feel, everything that we go through. And I can attest to when you lose somebody that close, the Lord is right there through it. And that doesn't mean that you don't feel the pain. And it doesn't mean that your body doesn't feel like it's going to explode. And it doesn't mean that you cry out, why is this happening? Or that you don't cry out, why is this happening? We still feel all the feelings. And, and, um, but the thing is, we're not alone and we don't have to be hopeless. We don't have to lose our hope through the tragedies and the losses in this life. Um, so the first thing was that the Lord's been putting supports into place for this very day for months and probably longer for everybody in the family who will receive his love and his tender care. And number two, he's calling everybody in this family to himself. He sees the pain and the tragedies that have gone through your family line um, for decades, you know, um, as far back as with Elvis. And I don't know a lot about your family. I know just a little bit as far back as him though. And I saw a lot of the tragedies, um, but even before him, um, you know, we have an enemy of our soul and his point is to steal, kill and destroy. And he works really hard at doing that, but God is more powerful than him. Um, and so I wanted to say, do two more verses for you guys. Um, Romans 10, nine through 11. Um, actually, Romans 10, 13 says, For anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And Romans 10, 9 through 11 says, For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. As the scriptures tell us, anyone who believes in him will not be disappointed. So I just want to encourage you guys as you're going through these, like what quite possibly could be your most painful, most painful time um, during your lives. Please call on the Lord. He is calling out to you. Um, 
Um, he is putting you on the hearts of people to pray for you guys. We we don't even know you, but a couple of the names that popped out like um, online to me were Priscilla, Riley, Finley, Harper. Um, that the Lord is calling you guys by name. Um, so I would encourage you to um, reach out to people who you know will pray for you. And if there's nobody in your life who will pray for you, you can reach out to me. I would happily pray for you. Pick up your Bible. Um, Go to the New Testament. I would read um, Psalms and John to start with. I don't know if you're familiar with the Bible or not. Even if you are, and maybe it's been a while, um, reading John, reading um, through Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, um, the New Testament, that will bring you close to the heart of God. And you will begin to feel the Father's comfort and His love. And He will walk you through this. He will hold you through this. And He will be your strength. Through this very difficult time so again i give you my condolences and um i'm just a, a lady who loves the lord and i love people because he loves people and i know that the enemy of our soul tries to ravage us and ravage our lives and a lot of time he's successful in that and so i am just a voice crying out in the darkness shining out the lord's light and telling people we don't have to live by being devoured by satan himself and his minions we can live in the light of god um and i also in first corinthians there's another verse that i wanted to share it says god uses foolish things to confound the wise and the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and so this looks foolish to some this looks weak <laughs> i look weak but i'm just answering the call of god because i care about your souls and I care about your peace and your health and your relationship with God and your eternity. Um, and I um, have found a lot of comfort in the Lord showing me even um, that my dad, that the Lord helped my dad. He helps us cross over from our life on earth into eternity. He loves us. He loves his kids. And so I just want to assure you that um, I believe that um, when we are children of God, that the Lord... I don't know if it's the Lord himself or if it's his angels, but it's a, he, he peacefully guides us into our eternity. And um, I don't believe that our loved ones are alone in that time. Um, and their very next breath, um, if we're children of God and we called out to him and believed on his name, the name of Jesus, our very next breath is in paradise. And so um, I pray that you can find comfort in the fact that the people that you love that have gone on to eternity already, um, that you can find comfort knowing about if they put their faith in Christ, that they're in paradise together right now. Um, and they have no pain and they have no suffering and um, they don't even remember that pain and that suffering from their life here. And so that has brought me great comfort and I'm gonna continue to pray for your family and I just hope that this gets into your hands and um, just know that people who are filled with the Spirit of God. He helps us to love people the way that He does. And so I love you the way that God does, and there are many other people. So please find some people who can help support you and pray for you as you walk through this journey. Um, in Jesus' name, uh, may He just bring healing um, and comfort to your family through this time. Bye.